This was the Marums in January. In April, storms made part of the road unsafe. Today, this part and much more has gone. Now residents are cutting footpaths through their gardens to gain access. Yesterday, I, I was just watching it go. It was scary. I was watching it from my kitchen window and it, it's, it's heartbreaking. At about quarter to three yesterday afternoon, I was told the police were being called here to advise residents, maybe 15 or 20 households, to move their vehicles to a place of safety to the north. Two and a half hours later, this entire stretch of road, about 30 metres of it, had collapsed into the sea. In the Lake and Arms, residents met to discuss what they can do, fearing their homes might not be there come the summer. It was in this pub 10 years ago that Save Hemsby Coastline was founded. Its chairman, Simon Measures, says being told there's no money for sea defences has not only undermined this road, it's undermined the entire community. It's a little equation in a spreadsheet, and it's as harsh as that. We are fighting legally now with uh, Friends of the Earth to try and get that legislation changed, to get that little bit of spreadsheet changed. But yeah, it's just anger and confusion, and just why are we not worth saving? Andrew Turner, BBC Look East in Hemsby.